Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a German dragon figure by the name of Max Wenzel. He's from Krasnograd, 1943, which is a city in the Ukraine, actually. So let's go ahead and take a look at the figure's box. So here's a picture of Max. As you can see, he is a sniper. And on the top of the box, there's another picture of him. So great pictures. And then here's the back. Okay, and this one was released in 2008. So cool box, I like the picture a lot on the front. Let me go ahead and take out the figure now. All right, here he is. So this is a nice figure picked him up um, I think over a month ago now I'm a little bit behind with my dragon reviews um, but I got him off eBay of course and I paid um, I think around 70 something for him so um, he is a rare one you don't see him a whole lot so you definitely are gonna have to pay a little bit more for him unless you can find him for um, a good price but he is a cool one. I do like him a lot. Let's start out by taking a look at, I guess, the binoculars here. All right, and let's take a look at his sniper rifle. All right, so this is a nice model. I've got the strap on there and the scope. Um, the scope actually doesn't pop off for this one. Okay, so nicely detailed as always. And let me go ahead and put it in his hands. All right, so there he is holding the sniper rifle. It's a little stiff in his hands due to the gloved hand that he comes with. Um, I feel like he can't get as much, um, I guess, flexibility due to the stiffness, but uh, still looks cool. All right, moving on, let's take a look at the helmet and the head sculpt. All right, so helmet looks really good on the figure. This is one of the uh, steel ones. And you definitely, at least I like to push it up a little bit so you can see more of his face. If it's down too much, it makes his head look kind of small. So I like to kind of push it up a little bit. I think that looks better. And this one comes with an interesting head sculpt. Uh, he's got a very interesting expression. Uh, he's scowling, which um, I think is very interesting. Definitely makes for a unique face, um, but I do like it. Very nice detailing on this one. All right, moving on to his equipment got pretty standard German equipment here. We've got his pouches for extra clips. And then in the back, just uh, his canteen, bread basket, and mesh tin. So not much there. Um, he's pretty light as far as equipment goes. And I think that's pretty standard for a sniper figure. Um, so as you can see, he's got, uh, this is called a, a Norak. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but, <clears throat> um, I think this is pretty cool on the figure. It's a little big, um, especially kind of in the waist area. The belt definitely helps, uh, 
make it look a little slimmer, but it is very uh, poofy. But it still looks good, I think. And put the hood over his head if you want. Uh, but good quality on that. And as mentioned earlier, this figure does come with gloved hands, which aren't too bad. Um, these have a tendency to break if you're not careful with them. At least I've had a lot of trouble with these hands before in the past, so I'm always a little wary of them. Um, but they do look good, especially with the sniper rifle. Okay, and then lastly, we've got his pants. And then you can see his uniform underneath. And then his boots. All right, so I think that's everything to show for the figure. He's pretty simplistic, um, but he is a very nice figure. I do like him a lot. This was one that um, I had been eyeing for a good while. Uh, I actually kind of forgot about him <laughs> for a brief period of time. Like I said, he, he doesn't really show up a lot, so he was kind of in the back of my mind for a while, and then I finally saw him show up on eBay for a pretty decent price, I thought, and just decided to pick him up, so... Um, I do recommend him. He is cool. Um, the sniper figures are always really awesome, and this one is definitely worth checking out. Um, cool head sculpt, especially. So, Alright guys, well, hope you enjoyed the review. Stay tuned for more. I got plenty more figures coming up. So, I will see you in the next review.